What's up everyone, how are you all doing? I'm Fiesta here and today we're going to talk about something related to DLSS 3.0 and there's an out outrage going on in the uh, tech world right now about DLSS 3 and presumably DLSS 3 is probably not the best looking tech ever because there are certain things that Nvidia didn't un disclose and we're going to talk about it. So we all know what DLSS 3 is, it's an AI power performance and what NVIDIA is claiming is going to be giving up to four times the performance compared to uh, DLSS 2 or whatever you call it, uh, 3000 series. Yeah, basically. And the reason they're going to give you more performance is because it has included more pipeline into the system as right here. Sequential 4K frames now have more uh, work space here and you, as you can see optical flow accelerator optical flow field that will generate optical multi-frame generation which will then give you the output so basically this is how dls is going to perform because they have added a new pipeline and if you look into some performance here it's showing us around 20 fps basically if you look into it 20 fps probably on rtx 4090 that's not good, is it? I mean, I, it makes sense because, you know, that's a very high demanding game, but still, the performance, not that great. Well, using DLSS 3 and ray tracing, we're getting 92 FPS. Good things, right? Well, we're also seeing more information here in the Flight Sim, and the Flight Sim is also looking good. Like, this game is gorgeous, I have to say, like, without a doubt. And if you look into some performance metrics here again, 54, 50 FPS, you know, and 135, 60, again, 60 to 135, to double the performance we're getting with DLSS 3.0. Yeah, that's not bad. That's pretty good. And we also have performance here, the metrics here. Microsoft Flight Sim is getting around, what's the performance they show? 200% they're comparing with. Uh, it's running DLSS Super, uh, Super Resolution Performance Mode, again, performance mode on 4K. Wouldn't look that bad, but I still won't wouldn't consider using performance mode anyway, right? Uh, yeah, 4090, i9, 12900K. And yeah, basically, these are the performance metrics here. But that's not what we're going to talk about today. We're going to talk about the actual problem with DLSS. And which is, if you look into it, Russian Evil Village that does not support DLSS 3.0. Absolutely don't. Look at this. 4080, 12 gigs, is performing below 3090. So basically, this is the raw performance we're looking at. Russian Evil Village doesn't support DLSS. So basically, this is the raw performance, right? So with ray tracing, uh, with ray tracing on, obviously, RTX 4080 is performing worse than 3090 Ti. We already know that this has been called a 4070. So basically, the RTX 4080 is an imposter. Hmm, kind of sus. Anyway. 4080 is performing performing like 1.2, yeah, right? Around that. And 4090 is performing around 1.7, I believe. Or 1.6, whatever you want to call it. So yeah, not the two times or four times the performance are we looking at. We're not looking at that. Same goes to Assassin's Creed Valhalla. It doesn't support DLSS. So, as you can see, 4080, dipping below. That's not good. Warhammer is also probably su supporting DLSS 2.0 or 3.0, I don't know. Maybe it does, maybe it don't, but the results are showing you that with DLSS turned on, so if you don't consider all the DLSS titles, if you look into the restoration performance here, or the ray tracing enabled performance here, without DLSS, 4080 and 4080 16 gigs, even 4090, they're not looking that great. If you look into it, so it's not the raw performance that is two to four times faster. It's with DLSS 3.0. That's the thing. And with DLSS on, as you can see, Portal RTX, Nvidia Racer RTX, and Cyberpunk, they're getting yeah, obviously four times the performance. Sure, that's great. But what about the raw performance? We're not getting that. So in this case, we're seeing that 4090, 4080, or even 4080, 12 gigs, these all three models here are not basically four times faster in terms of their own, you know, raw performance. They're faster only with DLSS. But there's also another problem with DLSS is that now we are hearing that DLSS, DLSS might have some sort of interpolation 
that which means that the game will run at 60 fps but it will it would feel like it's running at 30 fps or you could say it, the game is running at 120 fps which is the, which it, it's showing but it will feel like it's running at 60 fps so basically people are saying that it's kind of a fake frame i don't know nobody have tested that yet so i can't really comment on that but all i can tell is that looking at these performance right here I think Nvidia made a huge mistake posting this because that doesn't really go with their narrative. But if you look into it, as I mentioned already, the performance here are not like twice the performance. Like we're only seeing only one or maybe two games right here that are close to twice the performance, which is this one is going over twice, obviously. But what Nvidia, Nvidia claims, it doesn't look like it's reaching even the four times the performance without the raw performance which again makes sense four times does would never reach obviously we were we were even spectacle uh, skeptical not skeptical skeptical about the twice the performance which again makes sense it can reach but i don't think for the all games and even for 4080 it's struggling against what yeah raw performance without the dlss 4080 sucks if you look into it so it, it does make sense that the 4080 is not you know uh a 4080 it's a 4070 it's an imposter card right here 4080 16 gigs though uh winning in some cases but not by a big margin if you look into it and the pricing if you look into it 4080 16 gigs will cost you 1200 dollars. that's right compared to 3090 ti and in MSRP it was yeah fifteen hundred, but now the thirty ninety is way below one thousand dollars. So what are you gonna talk about that? That's not a good deal if you ask me, because the pricing doesn't make sense again. And for forty ninety, it's very expensive. But if you look into it, you are not getting that much of a performance without DLSS. So I don't know what to tell. Like, is it a good deal? Is it a bad deal? I don't know because we haven't seen the performance yet compared to, uh, you know, the 3090 in the third party benchmarks, of course, not this kind of benchmarks. I'm, I don't really take these benchmarks as the certain fact because I'm, I will be waiting for the, uh, yeah, the third party benchmarks to actually see what's going to happen. All I can say is that without the LSS, 40 series will not perform that well. That's for sure. Compared to the uh, pricing, of course, the price to performance will have very bad uh, output c coming from 40 series. So I don't know. We'll see. All right. That is it for today. I don't know what you are going to do for this kind of cards because are you going to buy them? I don't know. I suggest holding because I want to see what AMD has to offer. Also, I want to see what uh, the actual benchmark looks like from the third parties of course because again do not buy anything just looking at the first party benchmarks it's a big mistake and the second thing i want to i want to say is that dlss interpolation does that exist or not i don't know only the test will tell if these interpolation issues or and stuff like that I've, I've been hearing them so there, there could be po possibility that there is some sort of interpolation going on in DLSS 3.0 so if there is that is a bad look for Nvidia because if you don't know what inter interpolation is as I mentioned it feels like the game is running at 30 fps but it tells me it's running at 60 so yeah kind of you could say it's like fake frames that's the term I'm gonna go for fake frames yeah have a good day